I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. One of the perks of having a garden show is people send me things. They send me live plants and seeds and sometimes they send me products to try. Today we're going to talk about the Greenstock Vertical Garden System and the Tomato Ring Vegetable Support. So stay with me. <laughs> In my recent 7-day greens challenge, you could see my green stock in the background and a couple of people wrote and asked me about it. Well, green stock is a vertical stackable garden system that's easy to use and it has an internal drip watering system, which is pretty genius. And because I have such a small garden, I was eager to give it a try. It's also made in the United States, which I'm pretty excited about. <laughs> I started with a five-tiered system, but I personally found that at five feet tall is that I'm lifting a two-gallon watering can, you know, up kind of over my shoulder to pour in that into the reservoir. Uh, the watering system was a little bit um, awkward, <laughs> and um, plus, where I have mine set up, as you can see in the background. Um, it's much nicer to be able to see what's growing on the top. So I got one more tier and now I have two three tiers and they sit on a rotating spinning disc. So because of the way the sun goes over at my house, um, they only get sun in the afternoon so I like to rotate them during the day if I remember. <laughs> I uh, rotate them during the day and um, so they can get sun on both sides. My green stalk came with these uh, dwarf French mix marigold seeds which I planted in the top because marigolds supposedly <laughs> keep pests away from your plants and I planted the whole tops in marigolds. When I got the green stalk it was time for cool season vegetables so I decided to give it the real test and just planted seeds. I planted seeds all around, cool season, uh, dwarf kale, lacinato kale, um, some short carrots, Parisian and Nantes carrots, and of course beets and radishes. Now the radishes finished a long time ago and we ate those. The beauty of radishes is they tell you when they're ready. <laughs> they just grow, push right out of the ground and say, hey, look at me. This is an heirloom, French breakfast. This is one of the more spectacular ones. I decided to take them out and just leave some marigolds here so these two green stalks are in the same boat, so to speak. Now it's time to harvest the kale and uh, some of the kale got eaten by cabbage worms on the first tier and I didn't notice until it was too late. You can either fill it full of flowers or veggies on the top, or you can leave the reservoir on there and fill it up to water. And it will drain through these little holes here into each section corresponding underneath and also this hole will go into each layer has its own reservoir and that's the internal drip system. I just drilled several holes in the bottom so when the water comes out of the bottom tier it just drains on down through the deck. Um, so as you can see it rained yesterday and that's completely dry. And look at these lovely beets. If I didn't have 10 pounds of beets in the refrigerator, I'd pull those out. always coming up with ways to make gardening easier and the tomato ring <laughs> 
is one such product. You see how simple it is. It's just a wire and you can accommodate up to a 2x2 two two inch stake, wooden stake, or a metal stake through here and you raise them up as the plant grows and the limbs, the branches, just lay on this. But I will say that you do have to prune the suckers because if you don't, it can become top heavy and that's what happened to me last year. <laughs> I won't be making that mistake this year. If you watched my tomato uh, episodes uh, in 2014, I really struggled to keep them under control. And I discovered the tomato ring online and wrote to them and they sent me tomato rings to use for last year. Okay, here's an update on July the 2nd about my two, three, four, five plants that I've determined to keep under control and using the tomato rings and removing the suckers. Got tomatoes on all the plants. Got some gorgeous tomatoes down there. And just thought in case you don't know what a sucker is, this is a sucker and it came out of right here. Now, it was already pushing this one that way into a V like that. And equal energy would go both directions and pretty soon I would have this way up here and have to support it. Now it's a shame to take that off because a lot of production could come off that. But you have to counter, can you manage, can you manage the crowding and the structure if you let the plant split? By mid-August, I'd spent so much time battling powdery mildew. Things had gotten out of control with the tomatoes. Most of the lower leaves on the plants had been removed, but the top vines spread out. Obviously, I did not <laughs> take off all the suckers in the plateau. Oops. Tomatoes are just a wild vine and they will just grow everywhere and keep going. But if you keep them under control and keep the main stem, all the suckers pruned off of the main stem, you can keep the weight off of all of those vines. And um, the tomato ring, I think, is going to work great this year. <laughs> so I just got my tomato rings installed yesterday. And this year I'm using a much sturdier one and a half by one and a half inch wooden stake for each tomato. And each tomato will have three rings. You put them on right after you plant your seedlings and you raise them up as the plant grows. So each level of big branches rests on a ring. But you have to prune. Like that needs to come off. I will report back on the results at the end of the season. So I'm leaving on a two and a half week trip and I have beets in the refrigerator so I'm going to leave these beets but I need to harvest this lacinato kale which looks like it's ready to bolt. <laughs> And if I clip it, no aphids. That is exciting. <laughs> and um, if I clip it, maybe it'll grow back. And I'll have more kale when I get back. Okay. Let's have a little salad. I whipped up a little salad with kale, shredded coconut, kiwi, and dried mulberries, salt and pepper, little Meyer lemon, and massaged with olive oil. Let's check it out. Right. <clears throat> the 
the lemon is a little tart. But what's better than fresh harvested veggies? <laughs> bon appetit! If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and share with a friend. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Which you can see over my right shoulder, left shoulder. <laughs> Wait, that's my right shoulder. <laughs> or bought plants. I started with seeds all around. Ugh. People are always coming up with ways to make... What was I going to say? Oh gosh! Ah! Right. I could just try to talk over it. <laughs>